Hello, this is linear algebra uh, lesson two. I want to solve a linear system. Two equations and two unknowns. First, I rearrange this rearrange these two equations uh, into this form. Move the x, y to the left hand side and put the uh, constants on the right hand side. So I have this one is rewritten as this one and this equation is rewritten as this one. Once I have this form, I can use matrix to solve it. And this is the method used in linear algebra, using matrix. Okay, so I have one, negative one, negative one, here. One, negative one, negative one. And for this equation, I have one, one, five. One, one, five. I subtract these two equations, one minus one. Oh, first of all, I just copy this first row. So one, negative one, negative one. Then I subtract one minus one is zero, negative one minus one is negative two, negative one minus five is negative six. So next, I can reduce this. I divide this row by negative, negative two. So I have one, negative two divided by negative two is one, negative six divided by negative two is three. I keep the line one, I keep uh, row one. So I have this. The next, I can make this negative one zero. How do I do that? I just add this row to the first row. So I, I add it. One plus zero is zero. Uh, no, one plus zero is one. Negative one plus one is zero. Negative one plus three is two. So I have one, zero, two, zero, one, three. Once I have this, this is in the reduced row echelon form. And I have x equals two, y equals three. The given system of equations can be graphed. So, Let's see the graph. X minus Y equals negative one, which is this line. X plus Y equals five is this line. They have a point of intersection here and the coordinates of this point are two and three which is what we have the solution. So the solution means graphically the coordinates of the point of intersection. Let's have another example. I want to solve this system of equations. X plus Y equals five, 10X plus 10Y equals 100. So I have one, one, 25. Here, one, one, 25. 10, 100. 10, 10, 100. So I have row one and row two. I keep the row one, just copy it. So it's one, one, 25. 
I use row 2 to subtract 10 times row 1. So, 10 times this is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 10, uh, 10 subtract 10 is 0. 10 times 25 is 250. 100 minus 250 is negative 150. I call this row 3 and row 4. What does row 4 imply? So row 4 means 0x plus 0y equals negative 150. 0x plus 0y is just 0. So I have 0 equals negative 150, which is not true. So I have a result which is not true. What does that mean? That means I don't have any answer. That means this line and this line do not have a point of intersection. Let's graph it. Graph this line and graph this line. So that is the result x plus y equals 25 is this line 10x plus 10y equals 100 is this line and you will see that these two lines are parallel lines of course if you have two parallel lines they do not intersect that means i don't have any result. I don't have the solution. Okay, let's have another uh, example. Example, I want to solve this system of equations. Okay, I have 3x plus 4y equals 12. I have 36 minus 12y equals 9x. Okay. I rewrite this. I put xy on the left-hand side and the, uh, the constants on the right-hand side. So I have this, 3x plus 4y equals 12, 9x plus 12y equals 36. And then I use matrix 3, 4, 12, 9, 12, 36. Okay. I just copied row 1. So this is row 1, this is row 2. I just copied row 1. So 3, 4, 12. I want this 9 to be 0. So I multiply row 1 by 3 to make this 9 and I subtract so 3 times 3 is 9 9 minus 9 is 0 3 times 4 is 12 12 minus 12 is again 0 3 times 12 is 36 36 minus 36 is again 0 so I have this row, all zeros. What does that mean? That means I have only one equation. These two equations are actually one equation. What does this mean graphically? Graphically means the first equation is a line. The second equation is also a line, but these two lines are the same line. So, one line is on top of another line. So, I have this situation. You have two lines. One is on top of the other line. They are the same line. 
Then, how do I say what's the point of intersection? Ah, because the two lines are exactly the same line, every point on the line is the point of intersection. So, what is my solution? My solution is every point on the given line, just one line, every point on this given line is my solution. Therefore, I have infinite number of solutions. That is what zero, zero mean. I have infinite number of solutions. And there is a word, if you have, if you can find a solution, uh, we say the system of equations, this system is consistent. Consistent means I can have solution. It doesn't matter whether you have one solution or you have infinite number of solutions. As long as you have solution, it is consistent. So, in the other example, I cannot find a solution. There is no solution. Then we say it is inconsistent. Okay, that is our lesson two. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.